even if you have like two buyers, you know how much business that you can expand off of, off two buyers? All right, I'm fixing to share with you a clip of our coaching call this week. We do this every Monday. This next Monday is, is Christmas, of course, so Merry Christmas. We're going to do it on Tuesday, but literally Tuesday, I'm going to map out exactly how to get to 100 deals a year. I'm going to have it visual for you on a PowerPoint where you can actually see over the next three to five years how to actually get there. But yes, this little clip I wanted to share with you because I, I really got into some nitty gritty stuff. Um, I was a little little hype about it, and um, but I thought it was just a lot of value. So anyway, if you guys want to join us on the coaching calls, just go to zero to diamond dot com right now become a silver member and i'll see you on the call let me know if you have any questions whatsoever and let's get into it the biggest problem with agents like i'm talking to agents that have like 8 million in sales 12 million in sales all this stuff and like half of them don't have any kind of database retention relevancy going on okay that's that's like problem number one until you have that and a foundation in place where nobody ever forgets who you are you're really kind of just doing this for not no reason because you're closing deals, but you're not really building anything. You're just kind of like floating in the wind and doing things like here and there as they come across you, handling everything that comes across your desk, but you're not doing anything to like build up to the place where you can do 100 deals a year, especially doing 100 deals a year without having a prospect anymore. Okay, that's where the weekly email comes into play. So I want to cover the weekly email stuff but just to take it a step further, especially in this market right now, when people are sitting on 3% rates and won't sell because they don't need to and they don't want to because and they can't because they got 4% interest rates, you have to be so intentional and um, it, it, you have to be you have to be communicating with real purpose right now around urgency around different situations, okay? Like, for example, there's been so many agents I've talked to lately who I'm like, how many buyers and sellers are you working with? And they're working with like three, which by the way is just, what are you doing all day? You should be cultivating like, you should have like 15, 20 people looking for stuff, okay? Even if it's like, um, even if it's stuff that's like, uh, you know, way over, way underpriced, like they just want this killer deal that's uh, uh, just impossible to find or uh, you know, their credit's not great, whatever it is. Those are buyers that you should be continuing to work with. But like even take the people that are like a long shot buyer out of the equation. You should have like, you know, you know, 10 that are like ready to go if you find the property and they're they're realistic buyers. Nevertheless, what these agents are doing is is they're they're looking on MLS for stuff. Okay. And then that's it. That's not squeezing that situation, guys. You got to take every situation and think, I'm a real estate agent. I want to take this situation and work as hard as I can to expand this situation and squeeze it for every last drop that I can. Now, what do we do with that? You take the buyer, okay? You map out the criteria, and then what do you do? You handwrite letter to every single person that owns a, a house or, or, or a piece of land or a condo in that buyer's criteria and send it out to them. That's step one. Boom. Attack. Find something off market for this person. Right? Don't sit around waiting on MLS. Like, let's get to work. Let's do something. Don't sit around. The problem is, you know, we're doing half the work. We either get the listing and wait on another agent to find the buyer, or we find the buyer and we wait on another agent to list the property. When our job is to connect buyers and sellers, not to find a buyer and wait or find a seller and wait, let's attack, especially in this market with no inventory. Let's get to work for our, for our people. Same thing when you get a listing, send letters to send handwritten letters to people that own property that could upgrade to your listing and say, hey, would you consider upgrading to this property I just listed? Hell, write handwritten letters to buyers who own property that might want to upgrade to the listing you have. Just get busy. So you're not squeezing it for everything. you got a buyer. You're waiting around on MLS. You're watching MLS. you got them on drips for properties that come up on MLS. Don't do that. Do that but also write letters to everyone who owns the type of property that they might buy and do the exact 30 day listing challenge for the buyers that you have and then call them, send the letter, wait a week and then call them all. Hi, I'm Ricky. I sent you the letter. How you doing? Did you get the letter? 
What do you think? And these are like warm calls now. This makes it really easy to, to call. People that are scared to call and stuff. Well, if you're still scared after you send a letter over a buyer that you really have, then we can't. I can't help you. If you're that level of scare where you won't even call in that scenario, then what are we doing here? Okay. Any questions on any of that? No question here, but I'm fired up. <laughs> That's what this is all about, Mike. The, the value here is going to continue to be massive because <laughs> I, I, I'm drinking Fresca, guys. Like, I... If you guys want to know what the secret sauce is, okay, it's Fresca. All right. So, like, even if you have, like, two buyers, you know how much business that you can expand off of, off two buyers? Like, you can send, like, a thousand letters out over two buyers that are, want some imaginary, like, impossible property. You could literally talk to, like, a hundred sellers that don't even care about your buyer and just want to get to know you over two buyers that you don't even have. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you. It, that you can literally create demand out of thin air. Okay, I digress. So the top three agents for the month with listings. Okay, I got it right here. Hold on. Dude, I got, I got four of these bad boys right here. Slight edge. I ordered them just for you. I got four copies of this thing. Hardback, not softback. And I'm going to write you a personalized message right on the inside cover just for you. Sign it for you. Mail it to you for the three top listing agents this month. Um, and also the very top one, the number one is going to get a free ticket to Gold Bar Live. Let me pull this up. You guys need to go ahead and buy a ticket to this too. Um, this is going to be in New York on Times Square. February 29th, okay? It's going to be me, Ryan Serhant, um, Josh Altman, um, Dina, Golden Tayer. Like, these are like billion-dollar agents, okay? And, like, that's it. Like, like billion-dollar agents and, like, me and Juan. Like, it, it, it's going to be the sickest event of the year. And it's literally Gold Bar Live, the platform that all of you are uh, – a part of now like you're part of the gold bar community like you need to be at gold bar live you know this is going to be our we're going to do one event a year big conference we need to get together in person me and juan are going to are, are working to put together the 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 vacation we're going to do together like in uh, mexico or something and invite everybody so we can hang out and hang around the pool and stuff like in may or june or something so we're going to start doing this. This is a real thing. And we're going to start working together to be the most productive real estate community on the planet. That's what we're going to do. So um, Christmas, well, we're going to have the talk. I'm just going to do my notes here, make sure I'm telling you everything. Gold Bar Live, the call's on Tuesday next week. Let us know about your listings. That's it. I'm going to dive into the training here. So I wanted to focus on the weekly email this week. Next week, we're going to focus on how to actually get to 100 deals a year. I'm going to simply lay this out very visually for you where it's going to be easy to understand and visualize. But let's focus on the weekly email this week. Number one, what questions or problems are you guys running into with the weekly email before I just start just, you know, kind of, you know, doing my general thing? I'd rather kind of dive into questions you guys have specifically about the weekly email and kind of what problems you're running into and that can kind of give me a direction to go in. Go ahead, Olivia. I thirty five with a top down, quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seem like everybody wanna be the boss, but it costs and these lames ain't like me. Drop